Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pocketmine plugin showcase and tutorial for this one. We're going to be looking at this beacon plugin. It's more than just a beacon plugin, it's actually got color changing, rainbow, whatever you want to call it, beacons. As you can see here, it's switching colors. You can have as many colors as you want, you can change the delay, you can pause it on different colors, you can do lots of different things with this plugin. So. Let's have a look at it today. It's by Person on Screen Now. They also do. They've also made the Max Enchants plugin that we're going to be looking at in a future video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this plugin. <laughs> So quickly, before I show you how to do this, I just want to say that more than 80% of people that watch these videos are not subscribed, and I know there's lots of people searching these videos up for the tutorials and stuff, but I do do all my videos are like this. I upload weekly pocket mine plugin showcases and all of that good stuff. So if you like this video, please do subscribe because it will make me very happy. And yeah. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get into this. So the main command is slash beacon. So let me just uh oh, that's slash beacon and these are all of the beacon commands. Obviously I've set these up already. You do not need all of these diamond blocks. This was just for the thumbnail because it looks more like a beacon like that. And over here is just one that I made earlier as a little demonstration. So basically, you've got Beacon Help, and that's just, just kind of this page. Uh, beacon New is what we're going to use in a minute to create a new one. Remove is to remove. Pause is to stop it from cycling. Uh, resume is obviously to continue. Uh, hide is to disable the beam. And Show is to enable the beam. And then you can do settings for the beacon, which is for the colors and stuff. I'll show you that in a second. Then you can reload stuff and you can list all of the beacons, etc. So let's get started with slash beacon new. Let me show you what this does. So just stand where you want it to go. There will be a glass on top of it. So beacon new and you can see it will spawn like that it will have this small little iron block 3x3 three three on it when it spawns so as you can see at the minute it's white and it's not changing to any other colors that's because we've not set any other colors you'll see it gives a unique ID when you create it so for this one it's ID 3 and then to get colors you do slash beacon ID which is 3 then color then let's say we want an orange and black one since that's the colors for our channel we just do orange comma black oh did i do something wrong there what did i get wrong oh i forgot to do set so you do slash beacon set three color the colors you want No, is that not what you do? Ah, oh, it's colours. Orange and black, sorry guys. <laughs> so you do that, then it will update those colours. Now if you it's recommended that you do, that you keep it on uh eight ticks lowest, so you can do set ID ticks and then We'll put 80. What did I do wrong? Why do I keep doing this wrong? Ah, it's because it's delay. Delay 80. Okay, it's, it's, it's different. It's weird. Okay, so those are the commands that you need. And then you can see it will switch between the colors you selected. You can obviously build around this. You can stop it. You can pause it. You can resume it. You can hide it. You can show it. It's all simple just using that thing and then the ID after it. So yeah, it is a really cool plugin. Um beacons aren't usually in Pocket Mine, so it adds beacons and you know there I think it's good for a spawn or something. Obviously you will need to have access to daylight 
but it can go through half slabs as usual. And yeah, it is it is very cool. In the config, you can configure the beacons themselves. It's pretty simple. You just have a look yourself. It's uh, it's not that complex, and it it says what things are. And if you need help, then leave a comment below or ask for help on the GitHub page, also linked below. If you like this video, then please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you've got any suggestions for future plugins, then leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!